In this problem, we have a population that's initially 70 and is declining at a continuous rate of 2.69%. We are to estimate the half-life of this population and give a four decimal place estimate. Since the given information is in terms of a continuous rate, I will use the continuous formula to model this population, which looks like this, where A is the initial population, K is the continuous rate as a decimal, T is going to be time in years, and P you can think of as a future population. So for my problem, the initial population A is 70. The population is declining, so that'll be a negative rate. And since K is the continuous rate as a decimal, I'll convert this percentage into a decimal by writing 0 0.0269. T in this equation represents time in years, and P can be thought of as a future population. Since I am to estimate the half-life of the population, that's the amount of time, so I'll be solving for T, it takes for the population to cut in half. Since I started at 70, cutting in half would be 35. So I want to know the amount of time it takes my initial population of 70 to reach 35. Since P is my future population, I'll replace P with 35 and solve this equation for T. The first step to solve this for T is to isolate the exponential term. Since the exponential term is being multiplied by 70, I will isolate it by dividing by 70 on both sides. Having done that, Notice that the 70 divided by 70 on the right-hand side, of course, simplifies down to be 1, leaving me with the equation shown here. Now, to solve for t, because we only need an estimate to the half-life, you could use your graphing calculator and graph y equals 35 over 70. And then as a second equation, you could type in y equals this expression lying on the right-hand side of the equal sign. Then you'd want to find the input of the intersection of those two graphs. For this video, however, I plan on solving it by hand. First, I'm going to input both sides of the equations into the natural log function. So I would have the natural log of 35 over 70 on the left-hand side. Then, taking the element of the right-hand side, at this point, normally I'd be inclined to move this exponent down in front of the natural log. However, since I've composed a base exponential with the natural log, and those two functions are inverses, these simplify out leaving me with nothing more than the exponent here of negative 0.0269t. Now I'll just copy the left side down, leaving me with nothing more than a linear equation for which I could just divide both sides by the slope here. So I've copied this line down and I'll divide both sides of the equation by negative 0.0269. On the right hand side, this simplifies down to be the number 1, leaving me with t on the right hand side of the equation. So now I have the exact answer to the problem. Now I need only type this result into a calculator to get a four decimal place answer. So I'm going to take the natural log of 35 over 70 and then divide by negative 0.0269. To round to four decimal places, this would be 25.767 and I'll round this to a six since the number just to the right of it is 5 or greater. I use this symbol rather than an equal sign to represent the fact that this is an estimate to the answer, not the exact answer. t is approximately 25.7676, and the units on time in my formula was in years. What this means is my initial population of 70 will cut in half every 25.7676 years.